If you've been experiencing lots of frame drops and stutters in the new Fortnite season, then this video is the perfect video for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can boost your FPS and reduce your input delay in the new Fortnite season just like all of the pros. I'm going to be showing you the best in-game settings, the best Windows settings, and even an FPS boost pack which will ultimately boost your FPS. And after doing all of the steps in this video, I lowered my processes from this to this. If this video ends up working for you, leave a like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is open up Epic Games Launcher, find Fortnite, click on the three dots, click on Options, and then uncheck the high resolution textures. Alright, so in the Fortnite settings, make sure that Performance Mode is on. Also, in the three resolution, make sure to set it to 85, as it's the best balance between quality and performance. Now, if you want to, you can set your view distance too far, but it's just a personal preference, you don't have to do it. Now in the game tab, make sure to turn off NVIDIA highlights as it will use up your PC's resources. Now under the replay section, make sure to turn off replays or just turn them off if you really have to, but in the sleep mode and energy saving settings, turn everything off. What you want to do is go into your Windows settings and under system, go to power and sleep and make sure this is set up to the best performance. Then just go back and in the search bar type in background apps and open it up and make sure all of this is checked to off so nothing is running in your background just check everything off then go back and type in gpu open the graphics settings and make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is on All right so make sure to open up your browser and type in discord.gg slash rip tweaks when you type this up discord is going to open make sure to join the server and go into the free tweaks channel and download the free tweaks pack just click on continue download then once it downloads drag it on your desktop then just right click open with Windows Explorer, make sure to drag it on your desktop, right click, run as administrator. Right, so the message that will pop up is asking you if you want to create a restore point or not. I always recommend typing in restore as it's the best way to revert any of the tweaks in case you want to revert them or anything basically just goes wrong. As you can see, this is the utility and as a general pointer, all of the buttons have numbers before them, so just navigate through them. For example, number one, power tweaks, number two, AMD CPU, number four main menu so on and so forth just gpu tweaks pick your gpu i have an nvidia gpu i'm gonna click number three then we can go back click number four bang tweaks reduce bang just click number one wait it out your internet is gonna restart then we can go back number four then the same for input tweaks just do all of the options here number one number two optimize keyboard optimize mouse main menu just go to the other options windows tweaks as you can see disable all animations direct text tweaks windows tweaks now keep in mind this applies over a thousand tweaks to your pc so it might take two to three minutes just wait it out and that's about it now we can go back and then we can go to the debloat tweaks and basically do a cleanup, disable all of the unnecessary services, and then just click on the debloat option. And just keep in mind that this will disable all of the Windows bullshit applications that are running in the background. So if you don't want to do it and you don't want some apps to be removed, do not do this option. Just skip it. Right. So now we can go back and go into the RAM tweaks. Basically, just right click on your taskbar, go to task manager, go into performance and find how much RAM you have. I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I'm gonna click number four. You just click the amount of RAM that you have, and that's about it. All right, so now we can go back and go into the game section. And as you can see, we have four options here, and we're gonna be clicking on Fortnite, as that is the game that we're gonna be optimizing. And that's about it. We can close out the application, restart the PC, and go into Fortnite. All right, so just as a comparison, let's see the FPS. As you can see, it's on the same settings. Everything is on the same that we've set it to. And as you can see, this is 300 FPS before doing any tweaks. And as you can see, this is the FPS after optimizing, and it's all on the same settings. This is after using the FPS boost pack, and as you can see, we have over 400 FPS consistently, and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If it helped you out, just leave a like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.